What's going on guys, Lonnie and today we're back with some more bitch online so let's get into it. So in this video I am going to be just throwing out the question here on which Zompok toe I should get. As you guys can see, right now I have 9k fight and I am saving up for a Zompok toe in UBP. I know we had Sembon Zucker in UBP but Sembon Zucker is not the, I should say the Zompok toe for my team currently because I'm running more of a balanced team and I'm looking for a more balanced Zompok toe. So Right now, there are two Zompoktos which I have in mind. They are Muramasa and Zangetsu. And right now, I am more leaning to Zangetsu. Though Muramasa gives, I think, let me see. I think Muramasa gives an extra 20 damage and speed and key to attack in the um, 45 sections. But Zangetsu boosts my assault to speed and he also gives everyone damage rate. So let me check right about then. So yeah, the, um, the growth level for Zangetsu is, one, is 170 and the growth level for Muramasa is... And the growth level for Muramasa is 180 and he gives 360 whilst Zangetsu only gives 320 so it's a 40 difference in the attribute value but it's a uh, 10 difference in the um each in the um grow in the group each level now the reason why i'm more going to zangetsu because zangetsu boosts my assault of speed by 12 percent post three round and he also um increases the entire steam damage rate whilst muramasa only increases the supporter so he's only for the supporter so it's only pvp or pve if you have senju maru hikifune and Shinemu or those strong assault, um, supporters who can make very powerful but Zangetsu is for both PvP and PvE in a way because the boost to your assault or speed can be helpful especially sometimes when you have to um, stack your supporters with all your um, agility stones and all your best gears and such it's very good to actually have a Zanpakuo which boosts your your speed so and as you guys as you guys can see my main is only at 123k because I gave my Yamamoto um the god gears he had he had on him. So really getting that extra um 12% speed boost will be very helpful. I should say very 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 helpful. Because with that I'll be able to actually um be faster than certain players in HMA and CSB and in, in the arena as well. Now my Shiyoin is actually pretty fast on her own, but at the same time, she really, uh, as I was saying, she like she could she can use the speed boost for more monster with we had um extra 12% speed boost and she had my Kisuke, but at the same time my assaulters are pretty slow, and with that extra speed boost they would actually be able to do um, more in battle I should say because with the extra, extra speed boost they'll be especially my Yama. If he has the extra speed boost, he will be able to actually get off his skill quicker, especially with that um, laceration uh, on the, the, the fury restriction. So that would actually be pretty um, amazing, especially the fury restriction preventing them from actually getting back any um, fury from fury givers or like just normal basic attack. And my main, I don't really know, like my main is actually pretty good um i'm just trying trying to infuse the gears he have right he has right now once that is done i'll probably get the um the gear sets for him but anyways um also my yama got his second model which is actually pretty amazing he, he now has 203 physical attack 200 and um, 3k physical attack, that's pretty amazing, but anyway, back to the official topic. Now, another reason why I want Zangetsu is for PvE, because the current Zanpok to I use for PvE is um, Zabimaru. Zabimaru's skill is he um, gives everyone, everyone damage rate. I never really, I never really studied this stuff, but anyways, um, 
he's, he gives everyone damage rate um, 10% for 3 rounds. So I'm guessing he gives everyone damage rate, everyone, the entire team, he increases their damage rate by 18% for 3 rounds as well. So I'm guessing he's an upgrade from Zalmaran and he also gives us, well gives um, an extra speed boost to the assaulters. Now looking at Void, especially Void region, uh, Zanpopto who like semi AoEs like Zangetsu attacks the assault assaulters and supporters to so Mormasa. Um the only AoE Zanpopto's they are are they are there is are Ashogi Jizo, um Simbon Zakura, Yorin Maru, Tenka Zangetsu, Katun Kyokutsu and Ryujin Jaka who hasn't being really well, we don't know if Ryujin Jaka, yeah, he, he is gonna be uh, AOE because they already have him there. Oh my god, calm down. Like, I'm pretty hyped for this Ryujin Jaka Zanpakuto, matter of fact, because like the fact that they increased their making a Ryujin Jaka Zanpakuto, though he's gonna cost a hefty amount, if he's better than Katsen, I'm gonna be so freaking happy. Oh my god, but I don't have either of those, so I don't really give up. But, Region Jack, I'll do a review on this when he comes out. Hopefully, I'll be able to get a bad preview for him. But, anyways, back to the official topic. So, Zangetsu will be an upgrade from Zabamaru for PvE. But, seeing as how Muramasa and Muramasa will be more of a PvP type of Zapato, and especially since um, I don't have a second proper supporter for PvE, um, I'm going to get Neliel, Gamuza Neliel. Once I reach VIP 2, so I'll be able to have her um, just give more fury and she will have more damage. I'll probably just try to get Ukitake as well, um, Jushiro from the Torben, um, because he causes fury by 100, he has a growth rate of 190%. So that would actually be pretty helpful in PvE. But, anyways, so at the end of the day, Zangetsu will benefit me more because he gives, food, he gives, he gives um, speed bonus to the assaulters and damage rate to everyone whereas Muramasa only gives to the supporters and damage rate to the supporters only so really he wouldn't like now the Sampopto's fortification bonuses to partners um, I'm not sure if how much people pay attention to this but it can help you sometimes for example take Kazushini for example for those Hisaki users if you want Hisagi to do a nice amount of damage, at the end of each round, he gets an extra 5% physical attack. Um, for Zangetsu, um, if you have, so far, he's only for Shinsogin, Retsuna, Nakepachi, Christmas Ichigo, Hollywood Ichigo, and Ichigo Kurosaki. I think that's the one you get from um, early up in the game when you have the sign-in. When you 7 day sign in, you get the gold Ichigo, who is actually a purple partner. Well, he stands a purple, but he did, 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 did give him a gold name to make it seem like he's um, useful. But he, he's actually pretty useful early on in the game because he recovers his fury by 100 and recovers his fury by. Um, he recovers his fury by 100 and attacks the assaulters. But, anyways, so if you have in the phase 1, if you have Hado Ichigo, who is the bomber I'm going for. He increases your physical defense by 10% at the end of each round. Zangetsu would increase his physical defense by 10% at the end of each round. Now you don't have to really pay attention to it to this, but it can help you sometimes because with this I think it's 20% of your current defense. Okay, so if I have 100, he will increase the defense by 20 at the end of each round. So in five turns, I will have 200 defense right there. I think that's how it works. That's pretty freaking amazing right there. So, but with Muramasa, if I were to get, if I were for Stark, um, he would increase Stark's defense. He basically the same as um, what, but he, instead of that, Stark's re, Stark would increase, he would increase Stark's defense by 10% when he, when he loses 10% HP. So that's pretty risky, because if I can want to make a very tanky Stark, I would just take you in Maru. Because I fought um, a dude in HMA the other day who actually had a Yurimara and a Stark, and his Stark was so freaking stacked that he wiped up my entire team, which I was freaking freaking. But dude did a. Fuck Stark, man. Stark is a freaking bitch. But. Anyways, to wrap up the video, let me know what if you guys think I will. If you guys think I should, good, I should get.
Zangetsu or Muramasa. I'm more leaning to Zangetsu. Even if Muramasa gives an extra more um, attribute value than him, I just want Zangetsu for the speed boost and the all around damage to everyone for PVE and PVP for my um, assaulters. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you enjoyed, smash that like button in the face. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you can do that, that would be great. My name is Loon, and as I always say, have yourself a great. Awesome, productive, everyone today. See you guys in the next video.